Hi everyone, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I am Kishore and today I am going to solve a Sudoku titled Ventriloquism. This Sudoku was created by Tall Cat and it has been taken from the Logic Masters Germany portal. The rating of the Sudoku as it currently stands on the portal is 96% and I'll just show you some of the feedback received for this uh, Sudoku on the portal. All these feedback that you can see here, this is the Sudoku, right? Ventriloquism by Tall Cat. And you can see that every feedback seems to suggest that this Sudoku is absolutely enjoyable. This was a fun and smooth solve. I enjoyed it a lot. Wonderful puzzle, very nice, very enjoyable, extremely fabulous, enjoyable, splendid, tricky, very nice, I would say gorgeous. So it's safe to say that. Everyone who attempted this puzzle have absolutely enjoyed it. So I thought of making a video on this uh, Sudoku today for you guys. And the link to solve this Sudoku is given in the description of the video. Do give it a try before watching the video. And one more small thing, we are close to hitting 800 subscribers. So if you are a viewer of the channel and if you have subscribed, a big thank you to you. If you are a viewer of the channel who have not yet subscribed, uh, please subscribe to the channel. We would really be grateful if you uh, subscribe to the channel. Maybe, I'm not sure, by the time this video becomes public, we might have hit 800 already. So, thank you all once again. I'm going to start the Sudoku now. Uh, normal rule supply. So, each row, each column, and 3 by 3 box of the grid will have digits 1 to 9. And German Whisper rules apply. So, German Whisper has become quite a popular variant nowadays. Many authors are uh, using the German Whisper and using it to combine with additional rules to make it more interesting. So, all these green lines that you see on the grid, every line, every uh, tiny piece of line or big line doesn't matter. All those are German Whisper lines. On a German Whisper line, let's say we take consider this German Whisper line. Adjacent digits on the German whisper line will always have at least a difference of 5. So, which means that if you have a 1 here, you can only have digits 6, 7, 8 or 9 here. Because um, since the difference should be minimum 5, you will notice that 5 or anything less than 5 will violate the rule. So, you can only have 6, 7, 8, 9 here. And similarly, if you consider these two adjacent cells, Right, to in order to have a difference of at least 5, this can only be 1, 2, 3, 4. And of course, you can't have 1 here because we have uh, used that as an example. So, this would be 2, 3, 4. So, this is how a German whisper works. And one more uh, additional rule is that clues outside the grid give the sum total of digits on whisper lines in that row or column. So, for example, if you consider this 13 clue. Uh, outside column 5. 13 denotes the sum of these 3 cells. And why those 3 cells? Because those are the only 3 cells on German whisper lines in that corresponding column. So, these are the rules. And projected sums is not a variant by itself but rather an addition to the uh, German whisper part to make it more interesting. So, I am going to start solving this Sudoku now. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's start. So about German Whisper, there are few basic things that uh, you guys need to know. I'll quickly go through them because it will make the solve uh, easy to follow and uh, it might even be interesting for our new viewers. So, on a German Whisper line, you can never have a 5 and that is easy to prove. So, if you put a 5 anywhere, doesn't matter, you can put anywhere on any cell on a German Whisper line. So, if you have a 5, in order to have a difference of 5, we need to put either the 0 or we need to put 10 or more, right? That's not going to happen. So, which means that pi can never be on a German whisper line. The second basic thing is, if you have a 4 or a 6 on a German whisper line, the adjacent digit must always be a 9 or a 1 respectively. So, let's say we have a 4 here, the same cell I'm going to take. So, in order to have a difference of 5, you'll notice that the only possible a valid digit of a Sudoku that can go here is a 9, right? So that the digits have a difference of 5. No other digit you can put uh, such that the difference is 5. 
and similarly it works the other way around for 6 if you have a 6 you need to have a 1 here there's no other way to get a difference of 5 at least 5 and the last part is that the basic thing I'm saying about German whisper the digits always alternate between low and high digits by low digits I mean digits from 1 to 4 and by high digits I mean digits from 6 to 9 so for example if you have let's say 1 2 3 4 here this will always be 6 7 8 and 9 and this will always be 1 2 3 4 and to extend it further let's say we have 6 7 8 9 here this will always be 1 2 3 4 this will always be 6 7 8 9 1 2 3 4 6 7 8 9 so the digits always alternate between uh, high and low digits and if you don't have that what happens let's say we have two low digits together 1 2 3 4 the maximum difference you will be able to get from uh, two low digits is one uh, four minus one which is three but we need a difference of at least five so this shows us that the digits always alternate between high and low digits and these are the basic things you need to know to solve this variant and having said that we'll start this sudoku So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to look at these outside clues and see if they are giving me a start because I can see that if these clues are not given outside there is no way I can start this German whisper sudoku there's no way right I need something to start so let's look at maybe 15 so there are four cells in that row which add up to 15 and that is not helpful in fact it's super useless so this is not going to help me let me look at the 18 clue 1 2 3 digits again a useless clue 13 is also useless so 26 appears interesting because it's higher in value okay i have a trick or two up my uh, sleeve here for this clue but let me come back to this quickly but before that I want to see this 24 4 digits adding up to 24 there are many possible options so for now let's ignore it let's look at this 26 clue and for that we need to look at this uh, V shaped line deeper I think this might be the start to the Sudoku I'm not sure look at this V shaped line so we know that since the digits alternate between high and low all these would have the same uh, you know kind of parity you can say either low digits or high digits I shouldn't say parity but rather uh, digits from the same grouping and similarly these two will have digits from the same grouping right now can these both be 1 2 3 4 you will very soon realize that that is simply not possible if you have 1 2 3 4 in both these cells the maximum sum you can get from these cells is a 7 and that means we need 19 more from two cells which is never possible in a pseudo so this two cells must be high digits 6 7 8 9 and 6 7 8 and 9 nice start to the sudoku there so all these red digits become now 1 2 3 4 I'll uh, remove the colors from here. So, where do we need to go next? Notice that if this cell, uh, you know, for example, this cell you can say is somewhere inside this box. For example, if it's like that, you could have immediately eliminated a 6 from that cell because a 6 can. Uh, only have one as an adjacent digits as we saw the start and one can never be in the same box so but here it's not helping you can have a six here and just put one and one here right it's not violating the sudoku rule digits may repeat on the german whisper lines i forgot to add that part as long as it's not violating the classic rules you can have repeating digits on a uh, german whisper part german whisper line so uh, let's leave this clue for now come back to this 24 and for that I need to look at this line right that's where the logic is guiding me because uh, these two cells are on the same line 
if I jump alternate cells. Oh, beautiful. That's beautiful. So all these four cells are all high or all low because they are alternating. And similarly, these three uh, yellow cells are all high or all low, right? Can I have both of these red cells as all high? You will notice that it's uh, not possible because from these three cells, you will get a maximum total of 9, 2, 3 and 4, which means that this cell must add up to 15 to get to 24 and that is not going to be possible. So very quickly we can eliminate uh, just a second. Yeah, very quickly I can eliminate 1, 2, 3, 4 as the options there. So all these are high digits. They become 6, 7, 8 and 9 and all these are low digits. 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? And that's nice. So looking at this clue again, just the same idea we saw at the start. We cannot have two low digits uh, along these lines. There must be at least three high digits. We saw that logic here, right? So which means this cannot be a low digits. If you have a low digit here, three plus four is maximum seven and you need 19 from two cells, which is simply not possible. So this is also a high digit, six, seven, eight and nine. And which means both of these are low digits and they must be one, two, three and four. beautiful sudoku guys i'm already enjoying the sudoku so much so where do we go next can we look at this 18 clue so we have two low digits here can this also be a low digit two three four would be the maximum sum and you can still put a nine here and satisfy the total okay so that's nothing here let's look at this 15 clue maybe and both of these cells are on the same line so if I use the alternating thing logic, all these cells will have the same uh, grouping of digits and which means all these cells will have the same grouping of digits, right? I'll just mark them using a different color. Okay, I got it. I got it. So look at these two blue cells. Can these both be high? So uh, if you have both high digits here, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, the minimum sum from these two cells is six plus seven, which is a 13. And which basically means both of these cells must be one to get to 15. That's not possible. So they must be one, two, three, four. All the blue cells from must be from one, two, three, four, and all these orange cells must be from six, seven, eight, and nine. Awesome guys. Such a fun Sudoku. Right now, okay. Now I'm immediately getting uh, the 13 clue. So this cell cannot be high digit because 6 plus 7 will at least be 13, and you need uh, you'll have one more digit. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and that must be uh, these two cells must be 6, 7, 8, and 9. And now we can do something 4 can be eliminated from here because that forces 9 in both of these cells, so that's not a 4. Okay, I'm able to see a small thing in column seven. This cell cannot be a four because the minimum sum from these three cells is going to be six, seven, eight, which is 21. And if I have a four here, I'll get uh, a total more than 24. So that's not a four, that is one, two, and three. Very small deduction, you can say. And another small deduction is that uh, 6 must be in one of these three cells. If you don't have a 6, you would uh, reach 7, 8, 9, uh, which is 24, and there is one more cell. So 6 must be in one of those three cells. And 6 is, should be very helpful. Uh, okay, 6 can't be here because that would force 1 in both these cells. That's not a 6. So 
either this is 6 or that is 6 which means this is 1 or that is 1 right one of these is going to be true okay we can make use of the 15 clue now I can't have 1 2 3 4 here because then uh, all these cells will add up to only 10 so I need to have a high digit that is 6 7 8 and 9 and which means both of these cells are low digits 1 2 3 and 4 So I'm uh, noticing some quads in the grid 1, 2, 3, 4. All these are uh, locked sets you can say. Uh, locked into row 5 and box 4. Uh, which means you can write some pencil marks but it will completely clutter the grid. Uh, and I don't think it's necessary here. Uh, where exactly would the author have uh, hidden the continuation here? Can I have a 9 here? No, oh, I can't have a one uh, 6 there. So because a 6 here forces 1 in both of these cells. So 6 is not here. Uh, really tiny deduction. And for the same reason 4 cannot go here because that forces 9 in both of these cells. So that's not a 4. Ah, look at this 18 clue. I think we uh, visited this logic earlier. For some reason, I uh, forgot to see it again. So uh, you need to put all maximum digits into the respective cells to get to 18, right? So the maximum value from these three cells, where you have an almost locked set of one, two, three, four, is uh, two, three, four, right? The maximum sum is two, three, four, and that gives you nine, which means that this cell also needs to be maximum which means uh, this also would have to be 9 to just get to 18. So that means that we can substitute all these values as maximum. That's a 9. And rest of the cells are 2, 3 and 4. So 9 is removed from all these cells using classic rule. Okay, so where do I need to see next? Okay, I can eliminate 7 from here. Because if I have a 7 here, the maximum sum from these two cells is 5. So 7 plus 5 is only 12. So I can't have 7 here. Right, that's an 8 or a 9. If it's a 9, they need, uh, you need 4 more from these cells which must be 1 plus 3 and if it's 8 you need 5 more from these cells which can only be 2 plus 3. So in either case a 3 is in one of these cells, right? That removes the 3 from nothing else. Okay, 6 can't be here because this cell has uh, you know cannot be a 1 so that is not a 6 and even this cell cannot be a 6 because this can't be a 1 we saw that the 18 clue needs to take a 2 3 4 triplet so this cannot be a 6 that's 7 8 and 9 and even this cannot be a 6 same idea because you can't have a 1 here so that's 7 8 and 9 Hmm. At this point it has become a bit tricky. Ah, okay. So you have a hidden single here. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 9 are all eliminated and you have a 6, 7, 8 triplet in row 4. So this can only be a, 
hidden single 5 so which means that these three cells i mean a row 4 a row 5 column 1 row 5 column 3 and row 6 column 2 must all be a locked triplet 6 7 and 8 So I'm missing something here. See what I'm miss I'm missing. Okay. So in row 4, 6 must go in one of these two cells, right? We have a 6, 7, 8 triplet from these three cells. So 6 is going in one of these two cells, which means that a 6 will always have 1 as its adjacent digit. So 1 is either here or 1 is either here. So this is not a 1, that's a 2, 3, 4. And it cannot be a 4 because you don't have a 9 here. So that's not a 4. And similarly, this cannot be a 4 because there is no 9 here, that's a 1, 2 and 3. So I'm getting somewhere here. Ah, this cannot be a 4 because then both would have to be a 9. Superb. So that's not a 4. So you have a 1, 2, 3 triplet, right? The break in we, are, we were looking for. Hopefully this gives us a lot of digits. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 triplet here, which means this is a 4. And all these cells uh, are not a 4. They are 1, 2 and 3. Uh, really tiny directions all over the solve. Let me check what uh, I'm seeing here. Hmm, it's not clear what is being missed at this point. So if I had, if I can somehow prove that this is not a six, I would get a seven eight nine triplet, right? And that would give me a digit here. Can this be a six? If that's a six, then both of these cells must be one. And is that creating any problem? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's a tough deduction, guys. So if you have a 6 here, both of these cells are forced to be a 1. And now if you remember, we know that 6 must be in one of these two cells, which means 1 must be in one of these two cells, which we saw earlier. So if you have a 6 here, a 1 is forced into both of these cells. And now 1 is eliminated from this cell and 1 is also eliminated from this cell. So row 4, there can uh, never be a 6 which is satisfied by the German whisper. So which means that this cannot be a 6, a tough deduction. That's not a 6, so 6 is removed from here. I wanted to remove the 6 because I that would give me a triplet and we have got the triplet we are looking for. Uh, let me remove these corners. And why is this 3 here? Okay, that was because of this 13 clue, okay. So we have 7, 8, 9 triplet adding up to 24 along row 3. So which means this must be a 2 to get to 26. That is a 2. So 6 is quickly eliminated from here. And this both of these cells can't be 6. They must be 7, 8 and 9. And now we know that there must be a 6 into these 3 cells just as we saw, saw the start. So that becomes a 6 which means this becomes 1. So these are not 1. They are oops. They are 2, 3 and 2, 3, 4 respectively.
okay 26 clue is completely done now okay so i have a uh, pair in box six guys so uh, look where the one and two can be locked in box six these three cells cannot take one and two because of classic and you already have a one two three triplet here which means this cell that is uh, row five column seven again cannot be a one and two now if you look closely in box six there are exactly uh, two cells left for one and two all these blue cells and all these six seven eights cannot be one and two so that, uh, that leaves us exactly two cells for getting a 1-2 pair. That is hidden really well. So that's 1 and 2 and that's 1 and 2. Superb. And 1 and 2 is here. So 3 goes in one of these two cells. Right. something deep I have to see here perhaps okay the 4 in box 6 has uh, only two options right 4 can uh, go into these two cells only there's no other option hmm. I realize that I've become a bit silent, but it's uh, tough here, guys. Not sure where to see for uh, digits exactly. This 15 clue, uh, 15 is you have a one there already. Can this be a two and three? If this is four, what happens? This again becomes a nine. Is that creating any difficulty? I don't think so. I don't think that is creating any problem at all. Oh, again, you can't have three uh, in these two cells, right? Because you already have a three pointing pair here. So three goes into these two cells. So that gives a pair. Uh, you should have spotted this pair. A really interesting pair. And what does that do? It gives a very well, a beautiful deduction. You have got all the low digits in column eight, which means all these cells or high digits right six seven eight and nine which means these two cells which are alternating to this cell are all low digits one two three four this is also low digit one two three four two cannot go here it's one three four one cannot go here this is two three four and six cannot be here right and you also can remove the seven from this cell because if you have a seven you need one two pair here uh, that's not possible because of the one here so that's eight and nine so five is in here using the classic rules so uh, let us just you know uh, start writing a few more uh, candidates now so you have one two three four from these four cells which means the rest of the cells in that column must be 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. You have a 6 here, that's 5, 7, 8 and 9. Uh, okay, just let's write that. 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Because I have a feeling that we might need to uh, mark, uh, demarcate each cell as either high or low. I'm not sure, just a gut feeling. So I thought of just writing some digits. And if you look at row 4, 
you have 5, 9 and 6, 7 and 8 from these 3 cells. So both of these must be uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. And 4 is going in one of these 2 cells now because we have a quadruple here and that locks a 4 in here. That means that is a 3, that is becoming 4, that 3 removes the 3 from here and removes the 3 from here, 1 and 2. This must be 6, 7, 8, 9. 5 must go in here in one of these two cells. I'm not sure what I'm not seeing here. Oh, this is not 789. There's a 789 triplet here. That's a 5, eights, 5 and 6. This cannot be a 6. We are in desperate need of a digit here, right? Okay, look at this column guys, look at this column, column 7, you have a 6 there, you also have a 7, 8 here, so if you have a 7, 8 here, this forms a locked pair, locked set with these, uh, these between these two cells, and that gives you 21 from 3 cells, which means this would have to be a 3, that's not possible, so that would have to be a 9. These two cells are not 9, 6, 7, 8 and 5, 6, 7, 8, so it's just trickling, the progress is just going uh, real slow here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6 and 9. So this must be 5, 7, 8. This cell can be only be 5, 7 and 8. Ah. I have a 2-3 pair here which means that this cell must be uh, at least 5 away from both of these cells but a 7 is not a 5 away from 3 so this is 8 right 8 is at least 5 away from both 2 and 3 so that's 8 that's 5 7 that's not 8 that's not 8 that's not 8 and you have 6 8 9 which adds up to 23 and to get to 24 you need 1 here that's 1 that's 2 and that becomes a 3-4 pair which means this must only be a 9 you can't have 8 and uh, adjacent cell as 4 so that's a 9 and 2-3-4 that gives a 1 here this is not 9 by the uh, Sudoku classic rule And using uh, the power of classic, you can place a digit here 9. And this cell must be 5, 6, 7 for the row. I mean, for the box 2, 3, 8, 1, 4, 9, 5, 6, and 7. And you can place the 9 in row 5. Okay, now we are getting a strong flow of digits. Let's just carry it along. So this is not 9, that's 6, 7, 8. Okay. This cell. You look at, uh, or an easier way to uh, look at this deduction is where can the 3, 4 be in box 9? There are only two cells left. The 3, 4 can only go here. 1, 6, 8, 9 and 3 and 4. So these two cells are 2, 5, 7. Uh, 
ah, you have a two here that becomes a three. It's kind of difficult to see in between these uh, thick green lines, green lines. So that gives me a one here. And which means this must be a two, four pair that gives me a one here. That gives me a two, three here. One, two, three, four and nine. This three gives a two here. This is not a two that's three and four. So I have one plus two, which is three, we need, which mean, uh, means that I need a 12 from both of these cells to get to the 15 clue. And it's either three plus nine or four plus eight. Okay, I have one uh, and I also know that three must be in one of these two cells as we saw uh, at the start. Because if you don't have a three here and let's say we put a two here, one plus two is three. And you need 10 from this cell that's not possible so that is a 3 and that would have to be a 9 uh, that would have to be as a 9 3 is removed from here right and because i have 3 here and both of these cells cannot be 7 that makes the difference only 4 so this becomes 8 9 pair and that can be instantly resolved that is a 9, that is 8, that becomes 7 now. And to uh, satisfy the 7, both of these digits can only be 2, they cannot be 3 or 4. So that's a 2, that's a 2, that becomes 3 now. And 2, 3 gives me a 4 here, which in turn gives a 9 here, superb. Now we are uh, getting a flurry of digits. So in row 3, you have 9, 2 and 1, so this obviously means this is a 3. 2 can't go here, 5, 7. So we've got all the information that we need now, guys. So 5, 7 pair in column 7. So that's a 2. And now uh, using classic 2 goes in one of these two cells and that cannot be 2 because you have a 2 in column 1. So that is a 2. And now if you look at this line, there is only one low digit that can go in that line. It cannot be a 1. It cannot be a 2, it cannot be a 4. So this would have to be a 3. And which means that uh, the digit 5 away has to be 8 or 9. 9 is ruled out, so that would be a 3, 8 pair. And that 4 resolves this 4, 3 pair. That's a 4, that's a 3. And that resolves this 3, 8 pair. And now 8 in box 3 has only one cell. 8 goes here. That becomes a 5, 7 now. 3, 4, 8. 1, 2, 9. So uh, we need 5, 6, 7 in the column. In the column. Okay, this 2, 4 can be resolved. You have a 2 here. So that is 2, that is 4. And 2 in uh, column 4 has only one cell. Three in column 2 has only one cell. Using uh, just scanning, you can put these digits. And that resolves this 3, 4 pair. And I think I can look at the force now, right? 4 goes here, 4 cannot be in uh, these 3 cells, these 3 cells, 4 goes here and that gives a 4 here, right? What a highly pleasant solve guys, what a highly pleasant solve. I haven't appreciated the Sudoku enough in my solve, it's such a beautiful solve. I'm pretty sure I'm going to come back to uh, some of Tallcat Sudokus in the future too. So 2, 3, 9, 4, 7, 8, we need 1, 5, 6 in row 7. And this cannot be 1, that's 5 and 6, so that gives me a 5, 6 pair, so that's a 1. And now 1 in column 2 has only 1 cell, 1 goes here, so that gives 1 in one of these 2 cells. And 1 in box 8 has only 1 cell, 1 goes here, that gives a 1 here, which means this would be a 5, 7 for the row. So I think all the uh, projected sums have been satisfied, 26, 15. 18, 13 and 24. So we need to work only with the uh, classic part, right? So this is not 7. 1, 2, 9, 3, 4, 5, 7. So that's 6 and 8. And uh, 7, there is a pointing pair here. And that becomes a 5 now. 5, that's not 7, that's a 6. That is a 7. That's not 7, that's 5, 6. And 5 here gives me a 7. A 5, a 7, awesome. 
so that's a six and eight and that seven gives me a six here and that sets off this eight here so this becomes a five seven pair and eight here gives me a six here giving me an eight here that becomes a seven eight pair and that can be resolved because of this eight so that is a seven that is an eight and seven in column four there's only one cell so seven goes here five goes here which means this is a six that is a five that is a six and you need a seven eight pair which can be resolved so that's eight that's seven one two three four six eight nine we need five seven here so this cannot be seven that's a five that's a seven two three eight one four seven so six goes here and these would be a five nine pair the nine cannot go there that's a five that's a nine two four eight nine one and three so five can't go in column three five goes here seven goes here that's a six that's a seven so we need five six eight here that's a five that's an eight and that's a six just the uh, just using classic stuff and with that we have completed this beautiful sudoku by tall cat guys what an amazing sudoku really uh, it started off by uh, using this clue i think right or this clue no we we use this clue uh, we uh, deduce that both of these cells uh, need to be from the same grouping and so they cannot be uh, 1 2 3 4 simultaneously because we can't reach 26 and that kind of logic really helped us to start the sudoku so much fun really worth its rating i'm going to rate the sudoku 100% on the portal now i really enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed this video as well please hit the subscribe button and uh, do let us know your thoughts uh, we've got many wonderful videos planned ahead so thanks for watching bye bye